So today we're sitting here with Damian Gilbert, my friend and mortgage expert. He's been in the business since 2002, so very well versed. We're gonna to talk to you about how to get a mortgage from start to finish, and we're gonna explain exactly what a mortgage is, your credit score, what's required from your debt to income, and everything in between. So let's 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 talk about mortgage. Let's kind of deconstruct it, break it down a little bit. So I, you know, I get a lot of people ask me, okay, what is a mortgage? What is a mortgage? Uh, what I say, if you bought a car, if you mm-hmm. got a, you know, just bought anything with a loan, mm-hmm. it has a specific name. If you're buying a house, it's called a mortgage. That's right. It's just that simple. So you know, a few things that I always tell people, and I, and you know, whether you are a seasoned investor. Um, somebody has been in the business as long as you have, mm-hmm. um, or somebody that's new. There's three things that I always tell people to have and be armed with. Mm-hmm. You know, first, when you go into a professional like yourself, I always say be prepared to figure out what you want to pay per month. That's right. That's number one. That's Just, right. You know, when you go into this process, um, although I'm the expert, I've been doing this for several years. You've been doing it for several years. The one thing that we always like to be able to have the customer and the consumer to know is. What do I want to pay per month? That's right. That should guide and that should give you the framework of what we can do as professionals to tell you what you need to do. That's right. Because a loan uh, officer can't tell you how much you like to travel or how much you like to go out to eat or. That's exactly right. All of those expenses that you guys may not see. That's exactly right. So, you know, I always tell people when I'm speaking to a uh, group of consumers is, you know, we don't know how many diapers you buy. We <laughs> don't right. know, you know, how often you like to go to the mall. Or how we much don't that look, softball we don't, uh, team costs there you go. for travel ball. There you go. There you go. Um, we don't know that. We don't know right. those expenses. If yeah. you're if you get with a good lender, they're uh-huh. going to ask those questions. Right. Um, but again, that's why we always tell people: number one, know what you want to pay per month. Mm-hmm. Number two, I always say, you know, really kind of decide what type of down payment you want to you want to pay. Right. Um, there are several banks, several brokers that have programs where you don't have to put a lot down. Uh, whether you're looking at renovating a property, mm-hmm. um, if you are looking to buy a house for the first time, there are certain programs where you don't have to put anything down. Right. Um, you may go into the process. We don't know. Again, if you want to put, you, you go in knowing I want to put 20% down. Right. Know that, know that number. Know your number. That's right. Um, and then last thing I always tell people, and, and I know this is always uh, important for you is to really know okay what area do I want to be in? That's right. You know, where do I want to be in? Um, and what sales price? That's okay. Right. So that's the third thing. So the third thing, number one, is know what you want to pay. Mm-hmm. Number two, down payment. Mm-hmm. And how much you want to buy is number three, and where you want to buy is number three. So and the reason why I say number one and three, I book book in those two. You may want to pay. $500 a month for a mortgage. Mm-hmm. Okay. You've been paying that for rent for several years. That's right. um, but you got a house that you want to renovate. You found it. It's 300, 400,000. And you want to buy the three or $400,000 home. Those two, do, th- those two don't <laughs> go together. Right. So we're going right. to have a real conversation. Right. That's right. Um, so again, we, it's our job to kind of bring in, frame up kind of what you want as a consumer and say, Hey, this is realistic mm-hmm. or it's not. Um, so those are kind of the three things that I always tell my consumers. Again, you can be a first time home. And I always tell people, and I say this to everybody, um, you buy a house, you know, the average person is going to buy a house four five times. That's right. I do this every day. You do this every day. Um, so that's one of the things that we want to make sure that people are prepared. Um, and, you know, the Internet is a funny thing. The Internet will tell you Absolutely. that you can you can pay a certain amount for this $400,000 home, but they're not talking about property taxes. That's right. They're not talking about insurance. They're not talking about what they call private mortgage insurance. You mentioned that there are programs out there mm-hmm. where a first time home buyer uh, can get into a home with little to mo- no money down. Mm-hmm. Um, what does a down payment look like? Yeah. So <clears throat> I will say 70%, I think they did, a, they did a statistic and it was on Mortgage Insights. And they were basically saying that 
the majority of the population thinks that you still have to put 20% down. That's right. You're absolutely correct. How many times correct. do you get that? Hey, I'm not ready. I can't buy. Um, I can't buy this rehab property because I have to have 20% down. Mm -hmm. It's just not, it's just not the case. Um, if you talk to my parents and um, people older than that, 20% was the norm. 20% mm -hmm. uh, still is a benchmark. And I always tell people that. So it, that number makes sense. 20% down. Um, so when I talk about a $100,000 loan, $20,000 mm -hmm. down, you get around what they call private mortgage insurance. Um, what is private mortgage insurance? Private mm -hmm. mortgage insurance. And I always tell people, I break down the actual mortgage payment. Mm -hmm. Mortgage payment has your principal and interest like you have on any loan. Mm -hmm. You have homeowner's insurance or has insurance. Some lenders will call it has insurance. Um, you have your normal property taxes and you have what they call PMI. I know I'm okay. getting to your down payment. No, you do. You do. Um, but private mortgage insurance is insurance. People say, well, I want the private mortgage insurance because it covers mm. me. Right. Well, that private mortgage insurance covers the bank, the bank. That's in the right. event that you default. So, um, I don't think there's anything in a mortgage that uh, really uh, is there to protect the consumer. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> if, I'm, uh, if I'm honest, other, correct? Other than the homeowners insurance. That's right. Other yeah, other than the homeowners, insurance. yeah. That's um, right. You know, so so though that that's, I always want to make sure that people are clear about that. So that brings me back to the down payment. 20% down gets you around that private mortgage insurance. On a $100,000 loan, that can be up to eighty. dollars to hundred dollars a month mm -hmm. out in your payment if you if you put down twenty percent you don't have that. Okay. Um, there are some programs where you put hundred percent, you know, no, no money down, which we call those hundred percent programs, okay. no money down. Uh, several banks, uh, several brokers have programs where um, there is no PMI, even putting down nothing. Mm -hmm. um, so again, I guess the, the 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 moral of the story is just know that you don't have to put twenty percent down. Um, again, come equipped. One of our questions in the beginning was come equipped with what you want to put down. Right. And then we'll, we'll kind of, I always call it, you know, putting the suit, building the suit for you in particular. I love if that. you don't want to put anything down, let's, let's figure out something that we can do to, to try to get you to the payment or the program that you want. I love that. The next uh, direction we'll go is in addition to the down payment, which a seller, if you're a buyer, cannot assist a, a, a buyer with a um, down payment. That's right. The next part of that or the next fees that you will, uh, expenses that you will inquire would be your closing costs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so let's kind of break down. We talk about the down payment. What are, what are some other fees and expenses that a regular buyer would need to know or be aware of? Great, great, great question. And, and the reason I say that is when we, and we haven't done it, we haven't done a good job as mm -hmm. an industry of saying when we say 100% no money down right to a consumer that means nothing that means nothing that right, means nothing, right? <laughs> um, right. so you know if you know i'll break it into two parts number one when you're talking to you know as an agent uh, when you're sitting down talking to a consumer you're telling people hey when i write this contract for you for a rehab mm -hmm. whatever it is mm -hmm. you have to be prepared for three i always say three things mm -hmm. one um, as a consumer you want to be prepared for earnest money and i'll let you kind of Absolutely. talk about that after i'm done here earnest money um, the second thing I always tell people, it's not required, but a home inspection. Absolutely. Okay? Um, home inspections can go from three to five hundred dollars. Right. Absolutely. Um, depending on who you go with um, and the depth of the home inspection. And number three is an appraisal. Mm -hmm. So let me just go a little bit deeper on the home inspection, and the appraisal. So, mm -hmm. again, these are costs. If you're doing no money down, mm -hmm. right. These are costs that you have to be prepared for. Mm -hmm. uh, so home inspection, about three hundred to 600 and appraisal about 450 to 500 depending on the size of the home. Home inspection, you know, they're basically going under the house, in the house, on top of the house. Every nook and cranny. And every... a home inspector's job, and we'll dig into that in another show or another okay. episode, but a home inspector's job, which is also very important, is to protect the buyer. Uh, Alabama uh, is a buyer beware state, so it's up mm -hmm. to you, the buyer, to protect yourself and get that home inspection. Appraisal is typically around 450 to mm -hmm. Uh, $500. Again, that appraisal is going to determine the value of the property. And the way that appraiser is going to go out there, he's going to look at what's sold in the last uh, last year, typically, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, within a you know mile to five mile radius to determine mm -hmm. what that appraised value. Because if, again, if you are looking to purchase a home for $200,000, you want to make sure that the house mm -hmm. is worth $200,000. It's Absolutely. an investment. Earnest money, 
that's really a good faith, if you will. So once you get a great realtor, uh, usually a realtor, typically most realtors should already do a comparative market analysis so that right. you know before that appraisal gets out there that that home should appraise for what the offer price or the contract price is. The earnest money, uh, which Damian mentioned, will be in addition to that making good on that contract, it's a good faith. That's right. um, so that money is put up kind of like an, uh, a deposit, if you will, and it's held in an escrow account and you're given credit for that uh, on the back end. At closing, exactly. At closing. So um, again, if you have a great agent that gets you your, all your closing costs paid, um, and you have no money down, you can actually get that earnest money back Absolutely. at closing. And I um, want to so challenge, I, I want to I interject there. I want to challenge all of you realtors out there and agents. You, we have to do a better job of educating our home buyers on the home buying process from start to finish. Um, and so I just want to say that to my fellow realtors. If you want to reach me, Damien Gilbert, you can call me at 205-910-8009. And before I flip it to you, I know you're about to close us out. There is one thing that I always tell uh, my consumers, and, and again, as a friend, when you first got in the business, um, you always asked a very powerful question. It's a powerful question. And, and, I, and I leave that with the audience, and, mm -hmm. you know, is what does that mean? <laughs> she always asks, what does that mean? So the, again, the moral of the story, and I always say moral, the, the, the bottom line to that is when you're talking to your lender, this is what we do, but the most powerful question that you can ask as a consumer what does that mean? And there is That's no what, dumb question. There is no dumb question. So <laughs> Absolutely. I wanted to thank leave you, you. with that. So. Well, thank you again, Damien. Like we mentioned before, Damien has been in the mortgage business since 2002. When I first got into the industry, you were the go-to man. You still are. You're still you. killing it. You're still putting families in home. Your st homes. You're still educating. So I just want to appreciate you. Take thank time you. out to say thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you for just having me as your uh, realtor and you being my preferred. Thank Later. you. Thank you. Coming up next on House Heist. If you look behind me, it's the bar here. And yes. the bar looks, you know, like, yes. you know, like we in the our lab. Our RX lounge, <laughs> right. um, okay. our lobby, and the entire hotel is based off of the medical district being in UAB on the south side. Everybody knows that this area is the medical area. Care gives you an all-access pass to your doctor for a low monthly membership fee. This means unlimited visits, emails, text messaging, and virtual chats. There is no deductible and no copay. Give Dr. Cree a call today for more information. That's at Brownstone Total Family Healthcare, 205-202-5650. here. Tailgating for Alabama, Auburn or Magic City Classic, or maybe you want to go lavish this prom season. Let us help you do it in style. Lavish Limo Service is a luxury chauffeured limo service. Located in the Birmingham area, we offer the latest model vehicles. Book us for your proms, wedding, tailgate, or any special or corporate event. To book your next lavish event, visit us at www.lavishlimoservice.com. Fully licensed and insured with certified drivers.
So today we're at the lovely Hotel Indiglo, which is in, on the south side of Birmingham. The place has been completely renovated. I'm into renovation, I love renovation. I, I look around here, they've done a lot of renovation here. Uh, my goal one day is to renovate hotels. So we're here with the beautiful Pasaka, and <laughs> she's gonna tell us what all went into renovating this hotel. This was a huge project. Uh, before it became the Hotel Indigo, it was the Hotel Highland. And before the Hotel Highland, it was the Pickwick. Okay. Um, rich history in the building. It was built in 1931. Oh, wow. Um, medical arts building. So the entire building was used for medical offices for doctors. Okay. So um, as time progressed, they decided to turn it into a hotel. Okay. Um, the Indigo brand was picked up last year but we did not officially open the hotel until May of this year after the renovations. Um, renovations were in the millions of dollars. It took a lot of work, a lot of time to make the hotel what it is today. So how long did it actually take to renovate the hotel? Um, I would say completely a little over a year. Okay. okay. Um, we still continue to operate as the Hotel Highland before it's changed over to the Hotel Indigo. Okay. It was never completely shut down. Wow, wow. So how many floors and how many rooms are in here? There are 63 total rooms. Okay. There are um, eight floors in the hotel. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. uh, swimming pool, any amenities like no that? No swimming pool, but we do have a 24-hour fitness center that's okay. located in the basement of the hotel. Okay, okay. So that's good. Mm -hmm. Especially, I, I, if you look behind me, it's the bar area. And yes. the bar looks, you know, like, yes. you know, like we in the lab. Our RX lounge, <laughs> right, right, um, right. our lobby, and the entire hotel is based off of the medical district being in UAB on the south side. Everybody okay. knows that this area is the medical area. Okay. So, um, we are now sitting in the RX Lounge, okay. which is our um, bar slash dinner slash breakfast area. Okay. It looks like we're in a lab, so what kind of creations do they make up in the lab here in the RX Lounge? <laughs> 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 well, uniquely, all of our drinks are based off of medical. We have the um, different drinks you see. You have your all your utensils that you could possibly see in the doctor's okay. office. Okay. So um, one of our most famous drinks is called the Smoked Old Fashioned. Oh, wow. It is the only drink done in Birmingham in this area where it's a smoked bourbon. Throughout the hotel, you'll see things that you would see in a doctor's office. Okay. Yes. Wow. <laughs> the carpets on the floors are actually um, membrane cells. We have, um, yes, the duvet covers on the bed are actual doctor prescriptions. So who came <laughs> up with this whole concept? I, I know it's Hotel Indiglo, but how did you come up? Is every Hotel Indigo the same, or is this unique, or how is it set up? No Hotel Indigo is the same. Okay. Every Hotel Indigo that you walk into will be completely different. Wow. The Hotel Indigo brand is based around the community that the hotel is in. Okay. So what your community is notarized for, okay. that is what your Hotel Indigo would be based around. Okay. So. I like that. Um, if you look at the elevator, we have the they're original elevators as well. So, oh, wow. yeah, okay. <laughs> um, downstairs in our basement, mm -hmm. there are parking spaces that mm -hmm. were for the doctors that worked here in the medical okay. arts building. Okay. So if you walk down, you'll still see the brick wall with their actual names above their parking spaces. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So do they still live here too? Um, no, they <laughs> don't that I know of, okay. but um, there is a rumor that the hotel is slightly haunted. Mm -hmm. um, the sixth floor, actually, we wow. do have a lady that walks the floor at night. So I've been told, I haven't seen her, okay. but that's what I've been told. Make sure you book me on the sixth floor. Then. Sixth floor, okay. <laughs> We can do that. Okay. <laughs> We've had people to actually tell us that they um, have heard doors opening and closing throughout the night. And it's actually the exit doors that are opening and closing. Um, I actually had a guest to say that she could see a tail of a skirt. And it's supposed to be a lady that uh, <laughs> is walking the hall. And she was a patient and had a hospital gown on. So so none of these people you have seen yourself? I have not seen them okay, myself, yeah, but I don't really like it, yeah. go on the sixth floor. Because, okay. I mean, it's like I pass it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I don't want to yeah. run into anyone. Okay, okay. That's the funnest floor probably in here, probably. Uh, you want to find out? Yeah, let's, let's go to the sixth <laughs> okay, floor. Okay, <laughs> so you can go to the sixth floor. They chose what the... Um, 
company that did the decorating, okay. what she did was she visited a lot of medical offices. Mm -hmm. um, she took a lot of sketches from different medical offices. You'll okay. see a lot of pictures on the walls from um, different places in Birmingham, the South Side area. Okay. But okay. everything is basically based around medical business. So those books at the front desk mm -hmm. are just like um, their actual physician books. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. interesting. Like I said, it's a very nice hotel, and y'all done a fabulous job. Here. Thank so, you. Thank um, but you. Like I said, you got to book me on the sixth floor. I will. Okay. We can. I'll get you a nice little suite on the corner. <laughs> okay. That sounds good. I want to see about the ghost. If that's true. Or not. <laughs> Coming up next, a popular drink you will only find here at Hotel Indigo: pecan wood, as well as apple wood. You have that good southern smoke flavor to it. And there we are. Once we get the smoke in, we cap it off. Turn everything off. We want to make sure everybody's safe, don't get hurt. Around here, we call it a house. We'll be right back. Get the knowledge before you discuss price. Primary Care gives you an all-access pass to your doctor for a low monthly membership fee. This means unlimited visits, emails, text messaging, and virtual chats. There is no deductible and no copay. Give Dr. Korea a call today for more information. That's at Brownstone Total Family Healthcare, 205-202-5650. season is here. Tailgating for Alabama, Auburn, or Magic City Classic? Or maybe you want to go lavish this prom season? Let us help you do it in style. Lavish Limo Service is a luxury chauffeured limo service. Located in the Birmingham area, we offer the latest model vehicles. Book us for your proms, wedding, tailgate, or any special or corporate event. To book your next lavish event, visit us at www.lavishlimoservice.com. Fully licensed and insured with certified drivers. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> so we're doing a smoked old fashioned. Um, we're the only ones in Birmingham that does it. We're gonna start out with um, a few shots of our house bourbon and we'll pour it in the beaker. Okay, now that we have our liquor in the beaker, then what we'll do is we'll add some simple syrup, which will add the sweetness to the beverage. And then after that, what we'll do is add our, our bitters. will give us the extra flavor we're looking for in that old fashioned. Okay, so that is pretty much your basic of an old fashioned. And what we do is we place the machine on our magnetic system we have. What did you put in there? That is a magnet. Yes, ma'am. Don't, don't get scared, okay? <laughs> okay. Okay. And that's gonna get it cycling and getting it going. So once we infuse the smoke, nobody here is flammable, is it? Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna add the smoke into the beaker. And we are using a 
pecan wood as well as apple wood. Get that good southern smoke flavor to it. And there we are. Once we get the smoke in, we cap it off. Turn everything off. We want to make sure everybody's safe, don't get hurt. Then what we do is we, we trace the rim of the glass with a nice juicy orange for flavoring. It good. Oh, it smells wonderful, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Smell like some, some pork butts yeah. in the backyard <laughs> smoking, right? Yeah. All righty, and once we do that, then we add our orange peels for just for looks. Orange. And we take our magnet out. And the trick is the slow pour. And there you are, old-fashioned smoke beverage. Coming up next week on House Heist. Sure, sure. So the building, this was the, uh, the Federal Reserve building until 1992 when they moved out to Liberty Park. Okay. Uh, there are five, uh, five or six vaults, six vaults in the building. Wow. Uh, wow. That housed all the money and gold that the yeah. Federal Reserve had. Okay. Uh, everybody in the building kind of did something unique with their vault. Um, you know, we put a conference room in our vault. Okay. Uh, it's obviously not working as a working vault anymore. <laughs> okay. uh, there's a basement to this vault, okay. which is actually, there's jail cells down there where they kept prisoners that were on trial. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's a tunnel that goes under the Fifth Avenue to the courthouse, so okay. they would transport them back and forth and hold them okay. in the holding cells downstairs. Okay. So it's got a lot of neat history to wow. the building. That's amazing. I've learned a lot here today, um, from the financing to about Hotel Indigo to this wonderful drink here. Let's go take a tour. Maybe we'll go to the sixth floor. That sounds good. Thank you for joining us. How do we look? Oh, look great. So today I'm sitting here with my friend and preferred lender, Mr. Damian Gilbert. Welcome, Damian. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you. So we have a lot of information to discuss, mortgages and financing. Let's get started. <laughs> and we're going to start out with um, this camera. Your camera. This drink is pretty good. Very smooth. Yeah. Let's hang around and see what else they have on the menu. Sounds good. Join us next week. On the house ice. <laughs> <laughs>